blow every beam. Discussing on how to make a lot of metal. Very quickly about um, hacking or glitching the game. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, and let's get into it. So first off, you will want to go to the Nook Stop, and you will want to go to Redeem Nook Lens. And this is either in the tent if you are at that phase in the game or if you have the um town hall so you will want to go and find the nook miles ticket is 2000 miles which is a lot but you can always get it so you pay 2000 for the nook miles ticket the game then you will want to go to the dodo airlines and that is where the next step of this goes. And this works most of the time. Every once in a while, it doesn't work because of the RNG that's kind of required. So, what we will do is go over. Alright. Go over to the Dodo Airlines. And go talk to Orville. I'm pretty sure that's what he is. Orville. Orville the dodo bird. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. We go to I wanna fly. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we have a miles ticket. So use look miles ticket. So if you're not sure what this does yet, it takes you to a totally random island and there you can find villagers if you have open spots on your island or what we're doing is we can find fruit trees this usually works best if you don't have cherries as the native fruit of your island because um most of the islands have cherries on them unfortunately for me my island is mainly um has cherries on them which really stinks um but anyway, let's take off after Orville and Wilbur are done talking. Okay. So there's a chance that you could get Bamboo Island, which is what I've gotten on doing this before. Um, but most of the time, most of the time, you will Okay, so this island, as you see, has a thermal tree. So, what you want to do is go around and take all of the tree trees that you have to Just make it bare, and I'm pretty sure actually all of the islands will have coconut trees on which is another thing that you will want. So I'm not going to pick all of these on the island, but it's better if you do. So I'm just going to pick a few more things for it. And you can do whatever else you want while you're here. It's not really on the time limit, so just enjoy your time on the island. And I'll shoot one more of these. And one more of the other. And then do it. So now what we do is we go back to uh, oh. 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 and then we say I'm going to go and then 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 the next thing that we'll want to do is probably the most complicated step, even though it's not all that complicated. So, for the next step, you will have to have some sort of shovel. You can buy from the shop, you can have crafted it, but you need some sort of shovel. So, what we do is go to any open area that you aren't really using for anything, 
and yeah, I'll show you my native thing. So you don't have to go on cliff, so that's like the, the only place where I have free land that I'm not going to use. So I choose right here. So what you want to do is take out your shovel and move an IP with me and dig holes for however much fruit you have. And if you went to an island that had like pears or oranges or something like that, um, that's completely fine. You do the same thing, except for I'll show you what to do for coconut. And each one has to be one apart. Okay, so I had gotten nine cherries. I'm actually not going to plant them all, I'm just going to do a few cherry trees. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so that, I am going to plant one, two, five cherry trees. And again, this works best if you don't have cherries as your native island tree. But of course you can get one of those other islands. It's just cherries is the most common. And then you want to go to the beach of your island. Any part of it. So I'm going to take like, four coconuts. Um take a shovel. And three four coconuts. And I'm pretty sure coconuts can't be like your native island thing. I'm probably wrong, but yeah, alright, so you take the coconut, plant one in hole, plant two, and one. So, you have to plant these on the beach or else they will grow, I found that out the hard way. Alright, so the next step is press the minus button on the controller and you save and Now you have saved the game and I started the game, which you probably know how to do. Okay. So here is the last main part of this. So as you may know, foreign fruits sell on your island for, um, let's see, five times the price. So it's 500 instead of a native fruit, which I'm pretty sure is 400. So what you'll want to do is go to your system settings. Go all the way down to system and then go to date and time. You may or may not have this code, but whatever. And then you will have time zone and synchronized wave clock via the internet. Turn that off and then go to date and time. And then change the day about, I'm going to do it one week later. That's just to be safe. So I press OK, go home. And close Animal Crossing and then go back on. So this will manipulate the time and date of the Nintendo Switch, so it will think that seven days have passed. And that will mean that all of the trees I planted will have grown and will have fruit on them. So then you can take those fruits to Timmy and Tommy, and they give you a lot of money for it because I have a batch of pear trees every time I pick a batch from them they give me like ten thousand dollars and if you do that a few times you can get a lot of money so as long as you don't have trees as you and another way to do this is just if you have a friend's island that you can go to and they have a type of fruit on their island that isn't native to yours. You can go and plant it and do the day skip. So anyway, let's go check on the, our cherry trees after it was built. Right. 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 Thank you. Okay. So, now what we will do, we will go over here. Okay, so, 
down here. This is one of my coconut tree farms, which is really nice about this one. But anyway, we go here. He planted a few coconut trees. And as you see, all of the coconut trees have grown, and now I have double the amount of coconuts. That means before I would have had um, $2,000, but now I only have an additional 8000 So, shake all these coconut trees. One of the problems with coconut trees is they only give you two, but it's still a um, good amount of money. Actually, I forgot how much because I don't feel like doing math right now. But anyway, let's go over to the um, nook shop. It's actually, no, not the nook shop yet because we have our cherry tree, which I'll show you. Those still grew. I'm not gonna pick those ones because they really don't sell so much in my shop because they are the native tree. But if you were not to have an food, these produce um, three at a time, and it's a really good way to make money. Now, where the heck did I put my trees? <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I guess I'll just show you my pear farm. So this is my pear farm. All these grew. The cherry trees will grow. I can't really tell where I put them because I have so many cherry trees on my own. Just a few bees. And using only these um, fruits that I got from stuff, which you can easily get. Only that. And then let's go to Timmy and Tommy and see how much they give me for all of them. Hello. So we go to the Nook's Cranny. If you don't have Nook's Cranny yet, that's fine. You can still just. Um, speak to Timmy and Tommy, and then, welcome to them. Um, I want to sell, and then click on all the seeds that you've gathered. So, my eight coconuts, my six pears. Okay, so, let's find things you've brought in, and then you've five thousand bells. So, that's really good, um, 500 for each foreign fruit, all those are foreign for me, I don't remember how many I picked, but anyway, that's a lot of money that you get. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching this video, and I really hope that that helped you guys out, I know it certainly helped me out, and if you want more of this type of content, comment down below, and if this helped you, comment down below, please, and until next time, peace out.